Hi, I'm Brandon Grant, Sales and Marketing Director here at Quillworks. In this video, we're going to walk through how to set up your Quillworks installation with HubSpot CRM. Please note that in order to use this integration, you must have an active UMP subscription with Quillworks, be on the professional or corporate edition of Quillworks, and you must also have an active CRM account with HubSpot CRM. The instructions we're going to reference for this video moving forward are also available in chapter nine of the help file. Okay, let's get started. To set up the integration between Quoteworks and HubSpot CRM, you'll first wanna log into Quoteworks as a user that has master rights or as the administrator. For this video's purpose, I'm logged in as the administrator. So our first step is under the contacts menu, click on contacts and then set up contact manager. Once you've selected HubSpot CRM as your contact manager on the left-hand side, go ahead and click on the HubSpot Setup button. This will open up the HubSpot CRM Setup window, and you'll be able to link your HubSpot CRM account with Quoteworks. To do this, simply click on Request User Access to HubSpot. This will open up the Manage User Access to HubSpot, and then click Request User Access to HubSpot. This will open up your web browser, and prompt you to log into HubSpot if you're not already logged in. Using your HubSpot CRM account credentials, go ahead and log in and then click log in. And then this will bring you to the HubSpot accounts window. From here, select your HubSpot account that you want to link. And you should see a confirmation that the connection was successful. Click back over to QuoteWorks, click retrieve access token, You'll see status now says connected, and then we can test the connection. And we can see this connection was successful. Click OK, and then click OK to save those credentials. The second step in the integration setup is setting the defaults for the deals that are created when Quoteworks integrates with HubSpot CRM. So let's click on the deals tab. The deals tab includes a number of defaults that Quoteworks is going to use when we integrate with HubSpot CRM. The first option is the completion of deal to one. Typically, most users will select automatic when converting to order. So when you convert a Quoteworks quote to a Quoteworks order, it will then automatically update your deal as one in HubSpot. You also have the option to automate it when it is converted to an invoice or to never automatically update it as one if you'd like to do it manually. In addition to the completion of deal to one options, we also have the option if you'd like to use the profit amount instead of the sale amount in the deal. We also have the option to update the HubSpot deal name with the document name, that way they are always in sync and you're not having to retype it. And then also very important, if you want Quoteworks to write the line items into the HubSpot deal, you'll need to check this checkbox. Very important, this feature will only work if you're on the HubSpot Professional or Enterprise versions of HubSpot CRM. If you are using the starter version of HubSpot CRM, you will not be able to write products into the deal. It's just not a function that's in that version of HubSpot CRM. So if you want this functionality, you'll need to contact HubSpot and upgrade. Once we have this option selected, you'll see the options for generating the items in HubSpot CRM. Typically, we're going to map the Quoteworks field, the manufacturer part number, over to the HubSpot name. That's going to be the typical and recommended option for most of you. If you need to change this option, you can see here, there's a variety of different fields you can utilize instead for the HubSpot name. And then you can go into the name generator and actually choose how you're going to generate that HubSpot name. For more information on setting it up this way, please visit chapter nine in the Quoteworks help file in the HubSpot CRM integration setup. We have step-by-step -step instructions if you'd like to set it up that way. In HubSpot, HubSpot CRM requires that every line item has a name, which would be a Quoteworks part number. If you do not have a part number for one of your items in Quoteworks, when it's written over to HubSpot CRM, we will use this general product default for that name so that the item does still get sent over to HubSpot CRM. If you would like Quoteworks to also populate the SKU field in HubSpot, you can click on the drop down here and select which field you'd like to use. If you want to use the internal part number item type or custom text field, you can do that. The default is the custom text field, but you can change that if you'd like. 
In our bundle section, you have the option of instead of sending all individual items together, if when you have a bundle in QuoteWorks, you'd rather send it as a single rolled up item, you can select this option. For most of you, you're going to want the individual items in HubSpot CRM, so you can go ahead and leave that unchecked, but you do have the option to change it if you'd like. And then finally, when using the product lookup, which we're going to discuss next, you'll see you have the option to use the HubSpot field name or the SKU number. For most of you, you're gonna to wanna to use the name, but you do have the option of changing if you'd like. Once you've gone through and set your defaults, go ahead and click OK to save those settings and then click OK one more time. There's two more pieces of the integration that you may want to set up. If you want to pull HubSpot CRM items from HubSpot directly into QuoteWorks, we can set that up as well. Simply click on Products, Set Up Product Sources. This will open up the Product Data Source Setup window. Select New. On the drop down, scroll until you see HubSpot CRM. Make your selection, click Next. On the mapping window, this is where you can map the HubSpot CRM product fields with the QuoteWorks product lookup fields. They're already mapped for you. You shouldn't have to change these, but if you want to switch any of the field mappings, this is the step to make those changes. Give your database a name. By default, it'll be HubSpot CRM. Click Next, Next, and then finally, Finish and you'll see HubSpot CRM is available here. And if we close out of this window and we go to our products lookup window, you'll see our HubSpot CRM database is available here. And now you can search for your HubSpot CRM items directly in QuoteWorks and use them in your quotes and orders moving forward. The last step of the setup is for your individual users. If you have multiple users in your QuoteWorks installation who need access to use the HubSpot CRM integration, you'll want them to authorize their user with HubSpot CRM. To do this, have them log into QuoteWorks. So in this case, we're going to say Joe Sales, and Joe's going to log into QuoteWorks. And then Joe needs to click on Tools, My Preferences, and then the Contact Manager tab. And you'll see there's an option that says Manage User Access to HubSpot. So just like we did earlier in the video where we had the administrator connect to HubSpot, we'll do that here as well. Simply click on this button, he'll log in to HubSpot CRM using his credentials, and then that will link his user with this QuoteWorks installation. And that step just needs to be repeated for each of your users. They simply need to log into QuoteWorks, click on Tools, My Preferences, the Contact Manager tab, and then just follow the instructions from there. For more information on using or setting up the HubSpot CRM integration, feel free to give us a call or send us an email. Thanks for watching.